Hi everyone, Simon Keeling here. Um, now, something that I've been looking at over the last few days as I'm trying to plan my flights uh, for my flying lessons, which hasn't gone great, I have to say, for the beginning part of January, but I'm trying to ramp things up now. Um, how much fun is Airlaw? Uh, I'm just going through at the moment. Actually, it's pretty interesting. I'm just thinking, well, how am I going to remember all those various different bits? Uh, but anyway, um, I've been kind of looking and planning ahead for my lessons uh, coming up at the end of this week and into next week. And um, something that I've been looking at has been the grammets or grommets. Now, this is something that um, has been mentioned at Weather School increasingly over the last few years. And a, a, a grammet or a grommet, I'm going to call it grommet because that's what I've always known it as, was something that was always available to meteorologists. Um, but it was never a particularly useful tool for pilots because the resolution of the model was not that great. However, things have changed. And uh, the, the grommet actually now is, is a useful tool for pilots, but a word of warning. And it's a massive word of warning for you. The grommet is only based on model data. So you have to treat it cautiously. You do not use this for a go, no go decision. You use forms two and five and in uh, Europe 415 to make go-no-go -go decisions and of course you do your usual planning. However, the grommets are useful. So before I show you a grommet, if you're not sure what one is, promise me you're not gonna be using these for go-no-go -go decisions. They're just useful to look at the atmosphere in 3D. Now, um, I've told you about skew -tees in uh, recent videos and that's what a skew -tee looks like. So we've got temperature on the right hand side and we've got dew point on the uh, left hand side of the diagram here. So that's the skew tee. It gives us a, a forecast of looking straight upwards from a particular point. But this is a grommet. That's how they look. Now at first you might go, oof, what's that? Well actually the grommet is a vertical 3D picture through the atmosphere between two points. So uh, here, what I did was I selected the grommet from Manchester, EGCC, down to um, Paris Orly, uh, Lima Foxtrot, Paparoska. And what it does is it gives me a cross-section profile of the atmosphere. Now, there's stacks of information on here, but let me just give you a taster. Imagine a straight line between those two points. So this is what we were looking at this morning. That's the visible satellite picture from this morning. So we're going from Echo Golf Charlie Charlie here down to Lima Fox Paparoska here. So Paris there. And what the grommet does is it takes a straight line between those two points. So we're looking at those two points from kind of this perspective in profile. And you'll notice it's through a front. That's the reason why I selected this uh, grommet. And what it shows us along the bottom here is topography. So here you are, you know, high ground, you can see it there. This is the channel here, and this is the French mainland here. And we're looking in profile. First up, immediately, you can see here, the zero degrees Celsius isotherm, just through here. Notice how it rises here as we get into the warm air that's ahead of that cold front. But I'm getting ahead of myself as well, because I should tell you that the altitude is here, down the left-hand side, in feet. So this is flight level 50 here, 100 here, 150 here, at levels below here. And the yellow line is the line that I selected to say that I was going to be flying at 3,000 feet, which is that line just in there. Now, you can select two different times as well. So say leaving Manchester at a certain time, arriving at Paris at a certain time. But what I've done here is I chose a fixed time. So this was 8 o'clock this morning. This was the analysis this morning. And there is that front that we saw on the satellite picture. And there's the occluded front up towards the northwest of Scotland. Notice Manchester in the clear here. Paris ahead of the front. There's the frontal zone running through there. So on the grommet, we can see the cloud, which is the white features in here. And notice how it kind of hints to us whether it's a thick cloud or whether it's shallow cloud. And uh, here you can see that it was showing us that the main structure of the front was actually through here. 
Now grommets contain loads of other information as well. So here is where we've got snow predicted to fall. And these dashed lines that you see in here is where it's raining. Remember, that's where it's forecast to rain. Okay, this is forecast data using the model. You'll also notice here that we've got some ice attacks, so lines of the same wind speed. Through here we've got 100 knots, this is a 75 knot zone in here, and then down here we've got the 50 knot zone. And just notice how the stronger winds are in the 50 knot zone here, running ahead of the front. As well as that, it tells us about icing. So where we've got the green area in here is where we're expected to have severe icing and you can see it here look at the rear of it between five and ten thousand feet in cloud ahead of it here between about seven and twelve thousand feet in cloud as well and then notice how to the rear of the front here it becomes clearer although there is turbulence forecast just in here so the grommet does give us a lot of information doesn't it don't get too excited just yet because as i say this is purely model data now as well as that we get other data so in here, it's telling us we'll have a tailwind of six knots, tailwind of 10 knots, heading, headwind here of 15 knots. And it tells us whether we're going to be in clear skies, whether we'll be in overcast layers, or whether we'll be in broken cloud as we go through each of those different points. And what's useful is that along the bottom here, only from flight level 5.0, it gives us a table of wind direction, speeds, and temperatures at each of the various points. Now, like I say, very handy chart, useful to see, interesting to see, but you do not go flying on this chart, okay? It's useful as a cross profile, particularly if you're gonna be flying some distance. So if you're doing a trip in the UK or you're going into Europe, and what you can do is you can get these grommets from various different sites as well. Now, I'm kind of in my mind thinking about um, producing an online course for how to use grommets and how they can complement skew tees. But remember that uh, skew tees are better than grommets. Grommets initially make things easy to understand, but the skew tee enables you to choose a location, look upwards through the atmosphere, see what the wind directions are doing, see what the speeds are doing. You can predict showers, you can predict rain, you can predict a phenomenal amount from, doing, from understanding the skew tees. And of course, you can do that in my um, course, A Pilot's Guide to Skew T. It's a course that you study entirely online. And you can sign up now by just going to weatherschool.co.uk. You get full information here about what you uh, study. And you'll notice here that we've got seven modules with several units within. And it takes you about three hours to complete the course. But by doing that, you'll be able to make way better predictions yourself of what the weather is going to be doing up to five, six, seven days in advance. It gives you so much information about, um, about conditions and uh, what you can expect when flying. So just go to weatherschool.co.uk and then all you do is click on aviation and a pilot's guide to skew tees and you can do that course immediately. So the grommet is very useful, it is very handy, and on a day like today, it really does show you how the atmosphere is profiled and working. I almost wonder, is there too much information there? Because there is a lot of data. Uh, and I have to say, I only pick out various different bits of it. As I say, it's great though, that you've now got it available, because this was always stuff that was just available to meteorologists, not to pilots. But this is available to you now. Okay, I'm going to leave you with that for now. I just wanted to introduce you to the grommet, show you what it is, because it's something that's coming up a lot now at Weather School. So I just wanted to show you this. It's something else just to pop in there, useful for flight planning, particularly in the coming days. And that's exactly what I'm using it for. Uh, just looking at how my lessons may fare uh, during the days ahead. Okay. I will leave you with that for now. Be great to see you at Weather School sometime. As I say, you can do a pilot's guide to skew tees now, or you can come along to one of my uh, classroom-based courses. They do fill up pretty quickly, so if you want to come along, uh, now's your time to get booked up. Okay, I'm going to leave you with that for now. Uh, please do spread the word about Weather School, but whatever you're doing, thanks again for watching. Keep the sun shining, and bye for now.